Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, this is my first video for 2023 and I am paying homage to the first, first video that I made last year, this time last year, 2022, uh, of um, when I bought my dishwasher, a Bosch Series 2 dishwasher. And uh, one year on, I am just going to do a review of how far and how uh, I have managed to use my dishwasher and what I think uh, if I would actually recommend for you to get the same dishwasher. Uh, secondly, I will also be doing a deep clean because every three months uh, the recommendation of the manufacturer is you do a deep clean uh, for your dishwasher if you want it to give you good service for a long time to time, uh, a long time to come. So guys, without uh, telling you much, I will be introducing you to me doing the deep clean and then after I will do the review one year on. Uh, so guys, this is my Bosch uh, dishwasher. As you can see on here, it is a Series 2. Uh, what that means is it has a pocket um, handle for opening. And then uh, it does have, instead of touch buttons, you have this press button. So if you need to make changes, you press uh, this button and you need to be able to change uh, whatever features that you need. Other than that, uh, much of the features that are on this uh, dishwasher will be found in all the other uh, high-end and more pricier uh, dishwashers apart from maybe a few more components in maybe the drying uh, cycle is a little bit more uh, intense and unlike uh, the series 2 dishwasher so i will be showing you inside and because i'm doing a deep clean so the dishwasher is not actually uh, clean so i will be doing all the clean in a moment so guys before i start doing the deep clean i just want to show you uh, because the machine has been in use for the last three months and i haven't done any deep clean you can see it is white dirty because it uses all the heavy um, uh, uh, and soiled items that are in uh, all the time so it is important that uh, the deep clean is done uh, every three months so what I will be doing uh, I will be removing the arms so we have two arms so this is one of the arms and this is what I will be doing the cleaning because I need to make sure that I've cleaned and then I flush water before we do the deep clean so that is one um, that I'll be doing and washing for and then at the bottom here I will also be removing the other arm so we have two arms in this uh, dishwasher which I will be cleaning and then the other thing that I will be cleaning is the filter and you can see the filter gets quite filthy uh, so cleaning has to be done with the filter it needs to be cleaned every other uh, couple of washes so that's why you can see it is heavily soiled otherwise other if you don't wash um, your filter often then it won't give you the right results so other than the filter we also do have a, a containment where you need to put uh, the salt especially because we live in a hard uh, water um, area so we need to put the salt so we can soften the water so that uh, there is no build up of lime uh, over time in your washing uh, dishwasher or even the washing machine so uh, at the moment i will just put this one back and then i will wash the arms and i will also wash the sides of the um, dishwasher the doors where even when the machine is running it will get there so these are the places where I will need to be doing the actual uh, hand washing as well.
the arms and the filter. I need to put them back, uh, attach my arm back. Uh, it's nice and clipped back. And then I need to put my filter in as well. On the bottom shelf. Uh, so with the filter, I need to make sure when I clip it in, it needs to be facing the same direction. For it to be clipped in, the two triangles are facing each other. And then I'll be putting the last arm and then when I clip it in, I make sure that it is running smoothly, same as the one at the, at the, uh, at the top. Uh, we do have another shelf up here. I'll be removing this because I do not want the machine to run uh, a deep clean with any utensils in there. So when you're doing a deep clean, you only run the dishwasher either on the intensive uh, cycle which is the higher cycle uh, at 70 degrees or you do uh, if you have a sanitation or maintenance cycle like I do have in my machine then you can run that one so I do have a machine care um, cycle this is the one that I will be running uh, rather than the highest intense care cycle so guys uh, I have used a uh, finish uh, dishwasher deep clean uh, for the last uh, three um, deep cleans that I've done since I bought my machine. I have done four times, so it means you need to do it every three months. So this is the fourth uh, time I am running. So this is every three months. So every, for the last 12 months, I've done it uh, four times. Uh, this is the fourth time. And it is important that you use the right recommended uh, deep uh, clean cleaner, like I am using the the finished one. Uh, on my first uh, cycle run, I did not know this existed. One of my viewers is the one who recommended, and when I tried it, I have never looked back. So uh, this is something that I would highly recommend because I have used it for the last three. Um, dish uh, deep deep clean and my machine always comes out sparkling clean and it serves me uh, for the next three months without any problems and the dishes they come out absolutely sparkling clean and almost as good as new so with this one you usually just remove the top of the cup uh, so you just peel off the cup and there is wax wax that um is at the top so there will be as soon as it hits uh, hot water coming through the wax will melt off, melt off and the soap uh, will be nicely distributed in every part of the dishwasher so uh, it's recommended that you put your uh, your deep cleaner at the last shelving and then it will be able to sprinkle on every part of your machine uh, while it's doing a deep clean so guys i will be starting the deep clean uh, cycle in a moment and i don't do, need to do anything other than the main wash that i did uh the manual wash that i did and then the rest the deep clean is going to do the work and then i will show you the results so i will put on my, my dishwasher so i'm pressing uh the key and then I will choose the start key, uh, the machine care um, cycle, which is for the deep clean. And then I will start uh, my dishwasher straight away. And then from, it, from there, we wait for the next uh, two, two hours, 10 minutes. And then I will show you the results as well as give you a review of the last one year. And there, this, the cycle has started. Uh, so guys, you can see the dishwasher is all done, uh, nice, deep, uh, clean has been done. So let's have a look inside. Uh, first of all, you can see all over the edges. The way I cleaned it before, it is all nice and clean. I'm opening all through 
first of all we need to remove um, the container for the deep uh, cleaner uh, finish deep cleaner which does an absolutely wonderful excellent work so uh, if I bring the camera uh, close by you can see inside it is absolutely sparkling clean the deep clean does a very very thorough job so we are talking about inside that down into the deep components uh, and obviously because the deep clean is also cleaning inside the the pipings or uh, all those places that you do not see rather than only just the machine and the arms and everything like this you're also um, the water that is going and the detergent is also going to the piping inside where uh, lime scale usually builds up so you can see the machine is as as as, as good as new and uh, every bit of the machine is absolutely sparkling clean and uh, yeah I have I've had this machine for the last one year and you can see even though it is been in use for one year we run the machine um, not daily we usually uh, fill up the machine to the brim every two days so we usually just pile up the dishes and then we do the washing every uh, second day so uh, it's been given and working hard for that long in the year and it is still doing a good job and it is as you can see as good as new this is where i was saying this is the container where we pour in the this is where we pour in um salt uh to soften the water because the water in our area is hard water so it's very important to add salt in to the water so that way you can be able to have softened water and that means that you do not have lime scale left uh, onto the piping onto the arms onto uh, the dishes and you are having best results when it comes to uh, every time you you do your dishwash dishwashing so uh, that said my dishwasher washer this uh, Bosch dishwasher as I said I will do a review for one year uh, it has two arms two washer arms so the middle one which supplies water for uh, the top the middle shelf and the top shelf where I put the cut free this dishwasher I bought it for 425 uh, pounds uh, uh, sterling pounds so if you're looking for something like this uh, I would highly recommend I I actually chose uh, to buy this one to have extra uh, tray space rather than the tray uh, the cutlery container which is at the bottom so I chose I preferred to pay a little bit more so I could have this space for the cutlery at the top and I can tell you I, I think that is a better choice than having one which is standing because you are able to put more things in here and like if you're having one which is having some cutteries and then you are not left with much space to uh, put in your 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 dishes uh, with the top uh, with the bottom tray uh, you uh, you are having that extra uh, arm which washes all the things that are at the bottom you have uh, the soap um, either for liquid soap or the tablet where you put in the tablet and you lock it and when the dish uh, washer is ready then it can be able to dispense uh, the dish uh, ta the washing uh, tablet or liquid and here you have the place where you can put in the finish uh, rinsing uh, aid uh, for shine for that extra shine which you can add and you don't need to put it every time you put it maybe once uh, and then you add there is a light that uh, turns on if it needs to have a refill so you don't need to refill that every time you do the dishes other than just 
uh, adding your detergent. Uh, Bosch recommends that you use uh, finished products. I use uh, not only finished products, I also use um, fairy uh, platinum products, which I find far much better. They give me the best results so far. I, I, I do have finished um, tablets as well, but uh, not, uh, yeah, finished tablets as well, but uh, at the moment, for me, the high recommendation for me is using uh, a fairy uh, platinum uh, tablets. They, for me, have given me the best results when it comes to uh, the dishwasher. Uh, with the, the uh, cycle, you have the silence uh, and then you have all these extra cycles that uh, you have, I think, 14 cycles, uh, different cycles. So you have your echo, which runs at 50 uh, degrees centigrade uh, water, that is. And then auto from 45 to 65 degrees. The intense, which is for very uh, dirty soiled dishes at 70. And this means it is uh, using a lot of electricity. So it's best when you're using uh, echo and silence, which is still... Um, having less, uh, is, uses less power. And then you have the extra for extra dry, which is very good, especially if you're having dishes which don't uh, dry very well, like uh, plastic. If you have too many of them in there, you can add extra dry if you think uh, it won't dry with a normal cycle dry. Then you have a have load. I tend not to use a have load cycle because um, for energy purposes, it's best to just wait until the dishwasher is completely loaded uh, before you do the have load. So it's for me personally, I wouldn't recommend you to use the have load, although it's there depending on whatever size of family you have. And uh, yeah, it is personal choice at the end of the day. Then you have speed and perfect setup uh, seconds. And then you do have what I was just using the machine care, which is for running the deep clean every three months as recommended by the manufacturer so guys this is the review of my machine um a year round and i would perfectly recommend that if you're thinking of getting a machine which is not too expensive but it is really uh, efficient and it is efficient when it comes to energy it is effective when it comes to giving you a high uh, quality when it comes to the, uh, the 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 cleanness of your dishes this is one that I would highly recommend uh, so guys thank you very much for stopping by and I do hope that this video you found it very useful especially if you're thinking of uh, buying a, a dishwasher in this coming year and I hope that you will leave a comment uh, let me know what you think and also uh, a like a thumbs up and also do consider to subscribe so that we grow this YouTube together especially this year I am looking to expand and to grow uh, my uh, subs subscriptions and also I just want to uh, be posting more often than just once a week I will be looking forward to uh, seeing you again and uh, thank you for uh, very much for stopping by so i do hope to see you in the next one bye for now